Hello there, my beautiful yogi. Thanks for joining me today. My name is Stephanie, and today we are going to be going through a low back release flow. The only thing that you may need would be a strap, or even a towel or a blanket will be sufficient. We're gonna start laying face down on our mats. So, go ahead and meet me on your mat face down. If you would like a blanket, please go ahead and grab that now. This is not going to be powerful or any kind of hot yoga. <laughs> so it's going to be comfy. So let's go ahead and get on our bellies here. And maybe making a little triangle out of the pointer fingers and the thumbs. And bringing the forehead in the middle of that triangle. Allowing your body to feel this mat, this flat ground. And just start by bringing the awareness to the breath. Nice steady inhales and exhales. A good intention for this practice, a good affirmation would be, I am enough. You are enough just as you are. Come in here when our backs have pain in them. It's not easy, so go ahead and give yourself a pat on the back. Go ahead and tell yourself thank you for showing up. Showing our gratitude for these bodies. And on an inhale, we're going to move these hands. And we're going to do some cobras, just baby cobras. So hands under shoulders, gaze forward. And on an inhale, we lift up the chest. Nice little back bend and release. Beautiful. You see these are very little, not a lot going on. Inhale, lift. We're not really pushing through the hands. We're trying to lift the chest without the force of the hands and release. And inhale one more time coming up. Very nice. And release. We're going to bring the elbows under the shoulders coming in for a little sphinx here. Spread those fingers wide, grip the mat, try to pull that chest through, gazes forward. Breathe. Should feel really nice on that low back. Oh, yeah. And release back down, chest comes to the ground. We're gonna take the hips from left to right. So just a little left, a little right, back and forth here. And we're gonna pull this left leg up. So if you wanna sit yourself up to pull that left leg up. Now we can stay here, we can be lifted, we can come down onto the mat. We can also take our left hand under us, left shoulder under us, getting a nice little stretch to the shoulder. You could also take your other one across the body. If not, we're here. Really getting the stretch in this left hip. Possibly feeling this if you're lifted in the right back. And if it feels nice, you can come all the way down to the mat. We're just coming here and finding what feels good for our bodies. And breathing, not, no holding or clenching that breath. We should be able to maintain that nice, steady inhale and exhale through this whole practice.
beautiful. You can raise your chest up if you like. Sending that left leg back. Oh yes, that should feel really nice. And we're going to pull the right leg up. Same things here. If you want to take the cross arms or the shoulder stretch here, this is where we would do it. Obviously, my right shoulder is not nearly as open to be able to do like the crisscross. But it does feel nice to lay on this left shoulder. Wherever you are, be happy that you're here. Be happy that you made it here. You are enough. I am enough. Very nice. Slowly coming out of it, sending that right leg back, coming back through the sphinx and rock those hips left or right here. Oh yeah, should feel lovely. And we're gonna roll over onto our backs. Okay, oh yes, go ahead. Hug those knees in. Give yourself a little bit of playfulness here. Childlikeness. We're going to send the left leg out long. And we're just going to hug this right knee in. So for now, we're just pulling it directly back. We're not letting it fall to the side. And we have our knee bent. Just pulling in towards the chest. And you should feel this right leg the compression of that muscle, that hip flexor is what we're going for here. A nice active right foot dorsiflex would be beautiful. Flexing that foot towards your face. We're going to open up that hip, taking that over towards the right. Now, if it feels good, you can come into a half happy baby here by straight or pulling that right leg up to parallel. So you have a bend in your knee. So we're in a little half happy baby. Or you can stay with the knee bent towards the outside. So you're Massively opening up through this right hip. And you bet it, this has everything to do with our low back. All of these leg muscles can become so unflexible that it draws and it starts to pull. And then we get the aches and the pains. So any way that we can flex through the hamstrings and the legs, getting trying to get those outer IT bands, the better our backs will be. Very nice. So go ahead, release that right leg down and hug this left leg in, bent. So bend that knee and try to pull that leg towards your belly. Flexing that foot towards your face will help you deepen that stretch. When we have this leg pulled up, we also have pressure on our 
SI joint on whatever side we have our leg pulled up on. So it's almost like a little massage for our SI joints too. So that's amazing. And y'all know I love rocking and roll playtime. That's a great massage for our SI joint too. Whenever you come up, you just need to make sure that you're rocking on that tailbone. And that's basically a massage for that SI joint. We're going to open up through this hip now. So if you wanted to take the happy baby on the other side, I challenge you for the half, half happy baby on this side as well. We're just looking for what feels good. So we're wanting the hip to be open and then pulling it towards us to get that nice opening stretch happening. And of course we're breathing, we are not holding or clenching that breath. When we hold and clench the breath, the body wants to hold and we want the body to release into that muscle. So, so, so very nice. Go ahead and release that leg down. Oh, yes, just lay here flat, feeling this vibration and these legs happening. Oh, yeah. So, we're going to grab our strap now and we're going to put it around this right foot. So, go and bend that right foot to get the strap around it. Straighten the leg. And we're just holding the strap in our leg wherever they are. So we want to pull. So we're, we want to keep the knee just a slight bend. I don't want to see it bent like, you know, like we just were. But a slight little bend is definitely appropriate here. Because we don't want to hurt the knee joints or tendons or any kind of muscles around the knee. We just want to flex and get this massive stretch down this the back of this right leg, okay? It should feel really nice with the strap to help you. So just breathe here. Maybe closing the eyes down and allowing your hands to just pull on this strap to pull your legs. We're not looking for massive pull here. Gentle stretching. We gotta tap into that back and if we try to rush it, if we try to power it, the back is going to resist. Breathe. Bringing this leg outside now. Still holding on to that strap. And just allowing that flex to happen. Trying diligently to keep that left hip on the mat too. Just to stretch and open up this right leg and hip. Breathing in the nose and out the nose. Oh, so very nice. Bring it back through center, bending through that knee, releasing that strap, and then we can send that leg out long. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Maybe take a little rock with those hips before we come to the other side. So bending through that left leg, getting the strap around the foot, and straightening that left leg. Of course, a nice little comfort in the knee. I don't want to see giant bends, but a nice bend is fantastic here. And then pull on that left foot and leg. You're going to notice one side's tighter than the other, and this is my tighter side. So just imagine that breath going to that tight muscle, 
tendon, IT band, whatever it may be, filling it up with oxygen and bringing it back to life. And when it feels good, you can open up through this left hip, bringing that foot to the side, that leg to the side, and still giving it a nice gentle pull. And in through that leg, releasing that strap. You can set the strap to the side, send that left leg out. Oh, feel those hip flexors. Thank those legs. Affirm it. I am enough. Go ahead and pull those knees up. Feet come to the mat. Reach for those heels, making sure we can feel them. Scooting the butt forward if we need to to be able to feel our heels we're not powering into bridge we're just tilting the pelvis towards the face we're not back strengthening we're working on the release so go ahead and inhale lift that pelvis and flex it towards your face this is not going to look like normal bridge it's not going to feel like normal bridge because it is not normal bridge I do want you to engage your glutes and your thighs, but I want that active stretch of that flex of the hips towards your face. This is gonna stretch those leg muscles, which we learned in turn release through that back. And release and take a nice windshield wiper with those legs left to right. And we're going to come back in one more time. So setting yourself back up, feeling for those heels. And then lift up and tilt that pelvis towards your face. This is also a great stretch. If you have uh, psoas issues or tight psoas muscles. Also good for the front hip flexors. If they are tight, this is a great way to open them up. Breathing. Slowly release. Oh yeah, windshield wiper, those legs left to right. And now we're gonna rock and roll. If you've been on the channel long enough, you know that I love this. Pulling those knees in, and right here you can rock and feel on the opposite sides of your in between your butt bone on opposite sides. Okay, butt bones here, SI joints are on the opposite sides, so you can feel those SI joints. A nice rock, right? So when we rock and roll, we are massively massaging through the back and I know it's playful and it's fun but the point is literally to get the blood flowing through the spine if you don't like this don't do it we're just gonna come back to our backs and hug our knees in so once you get there hug those knees in oh yeah go ahead and take your arms into a T or you could take cactus if if you want to do something different today and on an exhale, we're gonna drop these legs over towards the left and take the gaze towards that right hand. 
Maybe closing the eyes and maybe taking this left hand on this right knee, if that feels good for you. And breathe. And on an inhale, we'll bring us back to center, reset, and then drop those legs over towards the right, gaze goes towards the left. If you want to take that right hand to that left knee, just finding what feels good to your body here. Remembering to breathe into that belly, nice little gut massage. Very gently, we'll come back to center. Take the feet to the outside edge of the mat and then allow the knees to drop together. Bring one hand on your belly, one hand on your heart. And we're gonna say our affirmation together. I am enough. I am enough. I hope this has allowed your back some relief. Keep coming back to this. Don't just do this video and the back hurts. Try to do it once a week and see the difference that it makes. Mm, I'm gonna love you and leave you here. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to my site to be notified of all of our new flows that we post weekly. Have a great rest of your day and remember, you are enough. Namaste.